Hello, Martin. Hello, man. Hello. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. And um, you. congratulations. The the feel is now out and available. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's now uh, out, and uh, we start to ship in uh, two week, two weeks ago. Brilliant. And it's going and you really, really, really nice. We That's good. Really surprised, and we are really happy about this. Excellent. I'm really happy to hear that. It looks like a really incredible um, uh, module. Yeah. Um, but. I came along today and mm -hmm. suddenly disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? The Elfo. Elfo. The enchanted. <laughs> <laughs> the enchanted four LFO generators. So we are trying to uh, redesign the concept of LFO. Uh, and it's basically uh, start to think in, in a device that can do four different LFO completely independent but if you want strictly interconnected so basically you can um, link them uh, or you can receive external for external CV to modulate any parameters on the LFO waveform okay. but of course the revolution is you can simply touch and design oh. and write your own waveform and uh, the very <laughs> nice tooth is you can select a point and you can simply start to modulate oh, it. Oh, look at so that. So for <laughs> each one. So your waveform can do the same each time you can receive it, you get to mix that. Yeah, That's course, fantastic. You can do this, of course, for all the four different um, waveforms. And of course, you can modulate it using uh, or an internal uh, other waveform, one of the four internal yeah. waveforms, or an external signal. You can do this simply uh, oh, like this, you can set, for example, presets waveform or random waveform if you want. And um, of course, you can set if the trigger you are receiving uh, is for the play or the one shot for using like okay. an envelope generator yeah, too. Yeah. Okay, in a complex envelope because you can move the point of the envelope um, and modulate it in forward or reverse, of course, in free or linked. So for the sync and. Uh, this is the global setting where you can choose the complex matrix routing. Matrix routing. You can see the LFO oh. one, two, three, and four. So this the is like a modulation input. matrix. Yes, exactly. Yes, and the so complex you can because there you can set, for example, external CV, put into LFO number one, for example, select the point, press, and you can enter in the point. And you can decide if you want modulate rate, for example, or range or phases, the amount of it, uh, if you want to use an uh, bipolar or unipolar uh, okay. stuff. So for each one of these points, you can set uh, different parameters so you can modulate uh, the, the modulation. Um, Brilliant. This, of course, we have also a sync matrix. Here we can see the master and slave for oh LFOs, you know, so wow. <laughs> you, uh, endless endless possibilities yeah. okay. of course you can set internal or external clock set the BPM set the divisor uh, for very complex routing and th the end the power the really power of the alpha is the magic power is <laughs> this the magic crystal function uh, what <laughs> Yes, the Elfo gets <laughs> what is the this? magic crystal. This is cool. Yeah, magic it's crystal. basically, yes, we are um, working a lot on it, on the software. This is uh, uh, a final prototype staging, but uh, we are uh, uh, we have been putting a lot on this function yeah. Uh, yeah. because basically the magic crystal uh, will redefine the rules you write in the matrix of modulation. So, uh, it basically change randomly the routing okay. and the parameters you assign to each one of the waveform. It basically all you design it for LFO number one, for example. Yeah. You can do switch it in a bit in the other uh, randomly in the, to the other uh, CV output. So you can do really <laughs> magic uh, sound results, and of course uh, you can you can like this you can uh, set the probably doing this and the and the time from very slow to to fast and each time you press and activate the crystal 
as you can see, the LFO2 are going to uh, out so one. So the is changing. Okay. Yeah. In the in the um, in the final version of the software, it can be uh, also uh, assigned to external modulation or external trigger. So you can do this rhythmically, uh, in sync or no sync oh. with your sequence. So you can. Oh, you can do really in time really with your music. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Great. So we are trying to redefine uh, the simple concept of the helpful yeah. in a very complex machines. But awesome. Of course, creative. And can you just tell us what inputs and outputs we have? Yes, we have four CV input. Yeah. To manipulate and modulate uh, any parameters on the waveform. Four CV output, of course. Trigger. Uh, so with four trigger, for example, and. And yep. use like uh, uh, envelope if you want, and we have also clock in to okay. sync the machine, and uh, and two gate out. Okay, um, fantastic. Yes. And do we have any idea when this may be available or? The price? Uh, we are ready about the hardware of the machine. Uh, we are mm, finalizing the software, and we hope to be ready in a couple of months and uh, ready for ship in September. And, and do we any idea on the price or not at this point? Uh, the price range, uh, we, we have not a perfect idea, okay. but the price range is a, a, about 500. Okay. Less or more. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I mean, this takes modulation yeah. to the next level. Yeah. yeah. And I, lo I love complex modulation. Okay. 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 Because okay. you could take the most simplest sound, uh -huh. modulate it with complex modulation, and you just end okay. up with something very interesting. So. Uh, yeah, You're really, happy. really interesting. Simon. <laughs> Hi, Simon. He's behind this. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Simon. Thank you so much, dude. Um, okay. Yeah. Enjoy electronics. Keep an eye out for this one. Thank you, man. Thank you.